A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I've genuinely found a TV show that I despise more than Love Island. Now I know what you're thinking. What's worse than people going on to a TV show? Desperate for fame. How's about Z-list celebrities going on to a TV show desperate to cling on to the fame? That's worse, because they should just go back to working at B&Q. Your career's done. Like, it's over. Move on. If you do want to try and cling on to your 15 minutes of fame, then the show that you should go on is Celebrity X on the Beach. I'm not sure why they call it Celebrity X on the Beach. They're not celebrities. I'm not sure why they call it X on the Beach. It's not on a beach. It's in a villa. Although, to be fair, this name does kind of make sense. Celebrity X on the Beach. Because, after all, these celebrities are washed up. Yeah? You can have that one. That's yours to keep. So let's meet the ladies. Eee. Lady sort of implies some sort of level of maturity and self-respect, neither of which exists in any of the following contestants. I don't want to be seeing any my exes because they just bring tension, drama, anger, and I don't want it. What do you mean? You're on a show literally titled X on the Beach. It couldn't be any clearer what you've signed up for here. It's in the first word, X. X on the beach. I know you probably can't read, but surely someone's explained the concept of the show to you. When people see me, they think I'm Beyonce. Oh, come off it. Who's told you that then? Stevie Wonder? My best party trick would probably be a twerk. Not really a party trick twerking. Most people can shake their ass about. My favourite sexy dance move. Well, she's just gonna say twerking again. There's most definitely a twerk. That's what I'm famous for. Of course it is. They can't even do an interview properly, can they? I mean, if they're going to answer the question with the exact same answer as the previous question, maybe don't include it. Hey, I'm Marissa Jade, and you might best know me from Mob Wives. Nope, never heard of you. Again. I'm single because I'm looking for the perfect one, you know? That soulmate. I feel like X on the Beach is just collecting all the other shite from the other shows and just creating one big ball of it. What was the worst breakup I ever had? Well... What's this all about then? Why does she keep doing this every time she speaks? Nobody ever speaks like this every time. What's the worst breakup I've ever had? Nobody does that. I had to physically remove somebody from my life. I don't even know what she's doing on this show. She's got to be knocking on 40 by now. I mean, surely you've got some self-respect by that age. You'll be picking up the pension soon. Well, when I cut you off, you don't exist in my world. I don't know what's more, false her breast or the way that she speaks. I mean, at least just be a little bit authentic, please. Come on. Ironically, she's probably one of those people that walks around going, oh yeah, I'm so real. I'm just, I'm real. I'm just like such a real person though, once you get to know me. No, you're not. No. Far from it. Hi, I'm Georgia Harrison. You will most likely recognise me from either TOWIE, Love Island, or most recently, The Challenge. Wow, what a CV that was. She's basically Meryl Streep. What is the worst breakup I've ever had? Oh, so many to choose from. Mm. Me and my ex split up so publicly that it made headlines. And not just that, I got bitten by a monkey on the same day. <laughs> oh my god. The mind of a five-year-old. I bet there's things roaming around on Mars with more intelligence. You see, this is why I don't think God exists, because if he did, he'd go, right, let's hit him with a massive tsunami. Bang! Flush him out. Let's start again. But I'm not saying that I want anybody to be fatally hurt from this hypothetical act of God. But what I am saying is, let's give him a bit of a fright or something. Do you know what I mean? Let's at least get him a little bit soggy. I mean, some of them could probably do with a thorough clean. Hi, I'm Lorena Medina, and you know me best for being a playmate. Considering this is Celebrity X on the beach, I'm yet to see a single celebrity. Um, although at least they've finally got someone that's actually attractive. So it's taken a little while, isn't it? Show you my best party trick. This one get will get the boys' attention for sure. Get their attention. Yeah? So I wonder what this will be. <coughs> what the hell was that? It sounded like you slaughtered a baby goat. Not exactly a turn on, is it? Oh, here comes the human fire alarm. If I was choosing between twerking and the sound of imminent death, I know which one I'd be going for. Show me your best party trick. Okay, I'm about to show you my best party trick. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Stop, 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 stop. She can't seriously be talking through the alphabet with her boobs. I mean, come off it. Classy ladies like her are difficult to find, to be fair. I mean, imagine if that's how you were taught the alphabet at school. Come on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Where's my future husband? Yeah, still needs a bit more work. Doesn't quite rhyme yet. So, you know, work in progress. Why am I single? I do ask myself that every single day. And I think the answer is probably hidden somewhere in the first clip, Sophie. A, B, C, D. So maybe watch that back. 
and I'm just so ready to find my future husband and I do want someone who's in this world with us. Well yeah, I hope they are in this world. You know, don't be getting with a dead bloke. No wonder you're single. My favourite sexy dance move is the slut drop. Of course it is, but she's great at that one. Hi, I'm Ellie and you may know me from Love Island. Yes, famous for being on that reality TV show one time. Oh, that's a proper A-lister is that. My best party trick is that I can fit my fist in my mouth. Hate to break it to you, but all you've done there is just shove your fingers down your throat, which most people can do. You know, your, your fist is still sort of hanging out. In fact, you've probably got more hanging out of your mouth than you have in your mouth. So even if it was a party trick, which isn't, then you still can't do it. Right then, let's meet the lads. Can't be any worse than that last lot, surely. Hi, I'm Joey Essex, and you best know me from being Joey Essex. What's Joey Essex doing still knocking about on reality TV shows? He's got to be in his 30s by now. What's he messing around on here for? He looks absolutely knackered as well. Great pair of wrestling though, so fair play. Would love to see him do some counting with those bad boys. I was reading Joey Essex's Wikipedia page, as you do, and here it says he got a U in drama, a C in art, and a D in wood tech at GCSE. Imagine getting a U in drama, and yet he's still made a living out of it. Show me your best party trick. Come on, Joey. This is your time to shine. I like to call this the evil dragon. And somehow, that's the most impressive thing that any of them have had to offer so far. Hi, I'm Callum Best. Callum Best. Jesus Christ, he's got to be nearly 50 now, surely. What is he doing on this show? A guy that is known for being the son of a famous dead person. What an achievement, that is brilliant stuff. I mean, why is he even on this show anyway? Shouldn't he be partying with Wayne Lineker? And you know me best from being around a long time, just as Callum Best. We know him best for being Callum Best. That's it, is it? That's what you bring to the table, your name. I'm Michael Griffiths, and I'm best known from Love Island. Another former Love Island contestant. I mean, you may as well just bring them all in at this point. Let's just turn it into a Love Island reunion. I mean, Michael used to be a firefighter, for God's sake. He's now come off the firefighter job, and he's now doing this for a living. Send him back. We don't need him trotting round a beach for two weeks. Let's send him back into the public sector. This house is burning down now because of him. My name's Ashley McKenzie. I'm best known for the Olympics and Celebrity Big Brother. So in other words, you're not known. My best party trick, I don't need one. I got banned for days. I don't think this show can get any more cringe. The cringe has officially peaked at this point. So to summarise, Letitia has come on to X on the beach in the hope of not seeing her ex. She also thinks she's Beyonce, despite looking nothing like her. And her grace's talent is shaking her ass. Middle-aged Marissa, on the other hand, loves to use over-the-top hand movements as a replacement for a personality. George has a plethora of TV experience on high-end shows like TOWIE and Love Island, as well as a unique ability to demonstrate traits of a small toddler. Lorena is comfortably the most attractive contestant, providing you can look past her exceptional talent of screeching like a dying lamb. <coughs> Sophie doesn't know why she's single, and then proceeds to go through the alphabet using her breasts. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She also may or may not have a thing for dead people. Ellie from Love Island, that's probably become her full name by now. She didn't really have anything interesting to say, although she did demonstrate how unbelievably average she was at putting her fist in her mouth. Joey Essex, you can count his qualifications on one hand. That's providing you can count, of course, which he can't. He's also great with his hands. It was sort of like a hand origami type thing, wasn't it? Callum Best, best known for absolutely nothing. Sort of ironic he's called best, when well, in most cases the opposite is probably true. Michael the firefighter, he's put out loads of flames over the years, including his own. What I'm trying to say is, he's very, very dull. And finally, Ashley. Still don't know who you are, other than a massive creep. What's my favorite sexy dance move? I'm just chilling. She's dancing on me. So we've established that not a single celebrity is going on to Celebrity X on the beach. It's just the same sort of washed up Z-listers that are trying to get the next 15 minutes of fame. So fantastic, people clinging on to fame for the sake of it.
exactly what this society needs more of. Anyway guys, that's everything for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and appreciate you dropping a like on this video. Also feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Bell button would also be great for you as well if you want to get notified when these new videos go up. Um, also link in the description below to my new gaming channel. If you've not already heard, I have started a new Leeds career mode over there so feel free to check that out as well. And you can follow me on Twitter at GameFaceHD and on Instagram at GameFaceHD as well. And that's everything. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.